We are going to start this series with a couscous salad and the reason I wanted to go with a couscous salad is because I think certainly for myself after a heavy training session where you want to be getting in some protein, you want to be replacing that lost muscle glycogen or uh, replacing the energy that we've used during a session, uh, I just find meat too heavy on my stomach and it's why I've gone more plant-based um, and as well I just find myself sometimes after a session not wanting to always have uh, that protein shake and especially if you're double daying and you want something in the fridge that's going to help to keep your protein intake up across the day uh, whilst allowing you to have a nutritious meal this is the perfect option so I have a few bits and pieces here um, I have my couscous obviously now one of the things people say to me is if I put couscous on a plan they say Fiona I don't know how to cook it I don't know you know where to start or where to even begin with couscous and it's actually much easier to cook than uh, rice or quinoa or bulgur wheat or anything like that. Now um, it comes, it's a grain, okay? So what I've done here is I've taken 100 grams of it and uh, I'm gonna use a half cup measure. So the half cup measure uh, approximately is about 100 grams of, of couscous. Now uncooked, you're gonna get about 10 or 11 or 12 grams of protein in that 100 grams. But I want to show you, um, I'm gonna show you first, so it's this uh, container here. I want to show you first how much uh, how much is actually in this okay so that's that's your cup all right or sorry your half cup so that's the 100 grams that goes in there it's only a small amount and it's difficult just like when you're cooking pasta it's difficult to know how much to uh, how much to use for one person but I'm going to show you and you can decide for yourselves how much I'm going to do a total Dorina a la minute and I'm going to pull out the here's one I made earlier in a minute so just to make couscous so easy you've boiled your kettle I'm going to use the same container and I'm going to add one and a half times boiling water to my, my couscous mix. Okay, so it's approximately one and a half times. Now, you look at that and very, very quickly you'll see that it's starting to absorb. Uh, but you're going to get either a top of, um, I've got these rubbery things I got from Ikea. Uh, you can use anything, the breadboard, a plate, and just put it on top so that it can steam. So we're going to put that to one side and I'll pull that one out later. Uh, I'll show you how perfect it is. So once that's actually cooked, you want to allow it to cool because we're making a salad to put into the fridge. Of course you can eat it warm, there's no problem there. So the next thing we're gonna do is make our dressing. So to do that, I conveniently have my little drawer here. I'm gonna use this bowl and we're going to grate some ginger in here. Uh, now you can add garlic as well. I actually quite like having this salad for breakfast and I'm not a lover of garlic first thing in the morning. So I use ginger, but I'm not inclined to use garlic. Of course, use garlic if you wish. So with ginger, when you're grating, I'm not, I don't, I don't peel it. Um, I just chop off any kind of knobbly bits. Um, don't use ginger powder, use fresh ginger if you can get it. And any bits you do cut off, chop in a bowl, and you can use those for tea later. Really nice for settling the stomach. Um, again, or I use uh, fresh ginger, hot water, some lemon, pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of honey as one of my um, one of my drinks if I'm out on uh, a run session on a warm day. So I'm going to just grate some ginger into a bowl here and I grate it so that the juices kind of are released a little bit and um, you just get the flavour throughout the dish then. Now I'm not a chef okay I'm a nutritionist but I'm a nutritionist who enjoys cooking so if there are any chefs amongst you and I have washed my hands first, don't worry. If there are any chefs amongst you who wish to critique uh, or add to or constructively criticize my methods, please feel free to, but just be nice. Okay, so um, I've got a good bit there. It's, I suppose, a heaped teaspoon. The other thing, and again, you'll curse me, I'm not inclined to measure things very much. So I'll say stuff like uh, use a little bit or a splash of, and it drives the kids crazy. Um, so there we are, what can we do? Okay, I'm gonna get a tea towel here. Yeah. So the next thing I'm gonna do is squeeze in my lemon. Again, you can be fancy and use one of those juice squeezers. Uh, this is quite a large lemon, so usually I'd use a whole lemon, but this one was enormous and uh, I'll only need half of it. Okay. Uh, 
and then we're gonna add the honey. Very convenient, I have everything to hand here. This is how my kitchen always works. Okay, so a nice big teaspoon of honey. And look, this is quite a sweet salad. I, my, my tastes have changed quite dramatically since I started training more and uh, oh yeah, I don't know, I just like sweet things, but I don't like, I don't like sugary things. Um, so this really hits those targets in the mornings. If I'm looking for something sweet, it's a really, really tasty salad, but it gives an extra bite then with the lemon as well. So I don't know if you can see that mix. I'll be spilling it everywhere now. So I'm just gonna mix those in there. Now, um, I also like to add a dash of tamari to this salad sometimes, depending on what ingredients I'm putting in. If I'm putting in tomatoes and cucumber, I don't. Um, so I won't today because I'm gonna use peas and mango. It's gonna be a sweeter curry. Uh, and you can also use, oh yeah, a teaspoon of um, whole grain mustard. It's really nice as well. So the herb I'm choosing to use is mint. So I've already chopped some up there. I didn't have enough. Can you imagine doing a cooking program and not having enough cooking program? I'm officially an actress now. I'm officially a TV celebrity, I feel. Um, very, very grand notions of myself. So that is my dressing. Now, the other thing I forgot to add to the ingredients is a little bit of vinegar. Uh, you can use apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, red wine, white wine vinegar, uh, rice wine, uh, rice vinegar is a little bit sharp for this, but uh, I'm gonna use cider vinegar, I think, if I can find some. Yeah. And I'm gonna do it to you now, just a splash. All right, we don't want too much. Okay. Now, to this mix as well, you can also add something like harissa or uh, some hot paprika or smoked paprika, um, any kind of uh, herbs that you like. I have a really nice spice mix, it's a za'atar spice mix. You can add that. Just be uh, a little bit, I don't know, adventurous with it and you can add whatever you like to it yourself. So the next thing I'm gonna do, will I pull out, will I pull out the, here's one I made earlier. No, I won't, not yet. So I'm gonna pull out a bigger bowl actually so that we can present this. You would have thought I'd have this ready now, but this goes, I'm not quite ready for the big time. Okay. Now, I use a pasta spoon to do this. I don't randomly have a pasta spoon. They were a wedding gift. Um, so I've sliced a mango slice. Now, mango stones are flat, if you didn't know this already, maybe you did. So um, they kind of run from side to side. So you can slice down one side of the mango. And if you take that side then and use a knife to score it all the way down to the skin, lengthways and crossways, what you end up with is this, like a little hedgehog. And then it's really, really easy to just break those bits off and pop them in a bowl. Um, if it's not very ripe, they can be a bit more difficult to pull off. Uh, which is when you can use your spoon or you can just use a knife and cut through them, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. I don't have the here's one I made earlier for this. Um, the next thing we're going to add then is pomegranate. Now, look, you can go and buy your pomegranate and uh, if they're in season, you can break them open and it, they're a bit messy to kind of pull apart. If you want to be quick and easy about this, get a packet of pomegranate from your supermarket. And I'm sure no one will give out to you too much. So I have some pomegranate seeds here. These are absolutely delicious. Uh, and they just add texture to this salad and a little bit of a bite. Next thing I'm gonna add is my red onion. Again, they just have that little bit of sharpness. If you're gonna have this as a breakfast food, you might decide to leave the onion out and Smells beautiful already. Okay, and then I have my petit pois. So I'm just gonna add half of those because I'm gonna use the others for another recipe later. So already that's nice and colorful. Okay, and uh, again, if you wish, you can chop your tomatoes, you can chop some peppers in there. Uh, it's beautiful with cucumber. Cucumber is really fresh and it just allows another filling fibrous uh, addition 
with a lovely flavour to come into the meal. Okay, so let's have a look at, okay, that couscous isn't ready yet. I'll show you what it's like when we're finished so that you can see what you need to do to it. Now, if you add one and a half times uh, water to couscous, okay, so the ratio is one of couscous to one and a half times water, uh, don't be tempted to add more water because it's soaking things up. Cover it and don't uncover it for about five minutes. And what you have left is what looks like not cooked enough couscous in a bowl. But what you're going to do is take a fork and score the top of it. And then you will have beautifully fluffy couscous. If you add too much water to couscous, guys, it's going to be this sloppy, horrible mess, I promise you. So we're just going to pop that in the bowl there as well. So again, okay, we're talking about, of course, you could add chicken, steak, whatever you want to with this. This can be the base for um, a dinner. Uh, it doesn't have to be a side salad. It can be stuffing for a pit of bread. Uh, you can choose whichever protein source to add to this that you like. But if you have 100 grams of this, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? That's a fairly, fairly hefty sized portion. So what I would suggest you do is add um, another protein source to it, or if this is just a snack, you don't need to. So some, like I, I use um, tofu and uh, I think on my Instagram, actually fionaodonnell.ie on Instagram, I have a highlight there on how to cook tofu and how to cook tempeh. So it's another option for you guys. Make sure you mix that in quickly otherwise the one patch will absorb all that beautiful lemon juice and all the flavor and you can add more herbs on top of that if you want to add in some parsley um, or some more mint that works really really nicely and also what I like to do sometimes is throw in a tablespoon of Greek yogurt so that will add to the protein content and there we go really really simple couscous salad okay now if you don't have couscous available to you there are two other options well there are three other options rice being one of them which is going to be lower in protein again but your other options are quinoa spelled q-u-i-n-o-a who would have thought or bulgur wheat and bulgur wheat and quinoa are whole proteins which means you're going to get all your essential amino acids in these two babies here so there's a little bit more protein per 100 grams in these guys you're looking at maybe between 13 and 15 grams per 100 gram of these products. And they're cooked a little bit differently to couscous. What I would do with these is uh, put them in a pan. You're going to add again, uh, maybe a little bit more. I'd be looking at maybe one to two in the ratio. You're going to bring the pan to the boil and then cover it and switch off the heat. So once the heat is switched off, that's when you're going to just let them sit there come back in about 10 minutes and then mix them through and fluff them through with a fork. So remember to turn them off once they start to bubble. So that's it guys. I hope you like that really, really simple and quick recipe. Again, beautiful to go with a barbecue if that's what you fancy uh, or to have it in the fridge and to just horse into it when you get home from a good session, pop it into a pit of bread and have whatever protein source you like. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed and I'm looking forward to showing you the next recipe next week. I almost forgot to show you the couscous so it's been about 10 minutes and I'm gonna take my fork and just score the top of it so this is how you create that lovely fluffy couscous use your fork and just run through it like that now if you had added more water this would be soggy and all stuck together so you can just score it all the way through or throw it out into a bigger bowl and score it and you're left with a lovely fluffy couscous